Tesla potentially has a 50% margin structure on the Tesla Mega Pack. They're going to be able to make a lot of money on this product potentially. They are building out a supply chain for it because, you know, Tesla spends a lot of time making batteries and they have a lot of incentives now with the IRA specifically where they're going to be incentivized to make more as many batteries as humanly possible. There is this uh, Mega Pack product that they could start making or have started making that potentially could give them 50% margins if the cost per kilowatt hour from the Tesla side is 250 and they continue to charge $500 per kilowatt hour, which is basically where they're at today. And Matt thinks that this could continue to be stable or potentially rise as some of the, let's say, energy markets become a little bit less stable or, you know, the cost of raw materials go up because of the demand of batteries in general globally. And then you have this sort of incentive structure that that's at least in the United States, where a lot of utilities are going to be incentivized to buy these batteries to try and meet these diet guidelines and regulations that the governments and sort of definitely different bodies have placed on on the utilities that could essentially provide Tesla an ability to sell these they're going to be capacity constrained essentially to be able to sell these into that market this kind of reminds me of 2013 2012 where you know a lot of people just didn't think that the EV car was a, a profitable endeavor you know and and it, it was not a well understood industry it sounds like we are starting to hit this uh, uptrend with the energy side where there are very few people that understand the sort of the mechanisms and the economic potential here for Tesla to capitalize on, capitalize on this opportunity. You know, we're kind of in that same realm again.